Hey guys, it is Mark from Modern Tech and if you are clicking on this video then hopefully I can save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to run exe files on the Steam Deck. Yes, most people probably know the first method which is to run games through Steam as a non-Steam game on the Steam library. I will show you how to do that but the second method is even better if the game does not work or if the exe file does not run from the first method, try the second method and hopefully that will save you some pain. So the first step is the most obvious one which most people do and that is launching the EXE through Steam as a non-Steam game. So what you do when you open up Steam on the desktop mode, you click on games which is at the top, then you scroll all the way down to add a non-Steam game to your library. All you do from there is simply navigate through your Steam Deck to find the file and click on it and click open and it should be relatively straightforward. Once the game is added, you will find it in your list just like any regular game and all you can do is simply click on it and click play and in most cases it should open straight away. If it doesn't open or if it doesn't run, you want to go and click the settings options and you want to click on properties which is right at the bottom. And in properties you want to click on compatibility and then you want to click force specific Proton or something along them lines. Proton Experimental is probably the best for most cases but sometimes you have to just figure it out and just try a few different ones. If you were doing something like I did and it didn't work at all, then you will have to use Wine, which you can launch through a program called Lutris. So all you do is simply open up the store finder and search in Lutris. So type in L-U-T-R-I-S and it should be there straight away. Once you find it, all you do is click install and then you wait a while. It does take a little while to install depending on your connection speed. Uh, for me, it probably took about five minutes. And in this time, I decided to navigate to the file that I wanted and copy and paste the search bar at the top just so I can easily navigate to it when it comes to adding the program. Once Lutris is installed, all you do is click launch at the top right, wait for the loading screen to happen. It does take a little while on the loading screen, but soon as it's open, you click the plus icon, which is in the top left. And when you get to this page, you want to click on the one right at the bottom with a plus icon, which is add a locally installed file. You can, if you like, give your file a name. I decided to give it a name. I called it Slime Mod because it was a mod launcher for Slime Rancher. And then the most important part is to come is where you select the runner and from the runner option you want to click on wine which is right at the bottom and this allows you to run windows games you want to click on the next tab and then you want to look for your executionable file which is your exe file so for my case it opened up to where i was searching but if you copy and paste it put it in the taskbar at the top and it should take you straight there so once you click on it click ok and then that should be done once it's all done you want to click save at the top right so them settings are saved and it is good to go you will see it there all you simply do is click on it and click play and it will launch your exe as simple as that some files might come up with a launch anyway tick box all you have to do is simply click launch anyway and click ok and it should be good to go as you can see my exe file was opened it doesn't physically show anything because it was just a mod launcher which installed itself but from the folder where i need it to be it installed the correct folders where it had to go so it did work and as you can see there is success and there you have it i hope this helped you as much as it helped me yes it took me a while pulling my hair out to figure out how to do this but i got there in the end and i'm so glad i did and so i thought i'd make the video to help you guys out anyway so it's mark from monotech if you like this video please give it a like comment subscribe let us know how you are getting on and i am also starting a podcast on this channel it's also going to be an audio channel but the video version will be on this channel and it's called 92 bit gamers so stick around for that and i hope to keep producing content for you guys it's mark from bonatech thanks for watching